Now, I recommend this routine to people that are more prone to injury, since what we do here is we make sure that we don't repeat the same exercise more than twice a week. This way, we avoid overuse injuries. This is also a great split for people who like their workouts to be a little bit shorter, as I mentioned in the introduction of this video, you know, especially over 40, I find that when you're overdoing it, when you're uh, adding a lot of training volume for the same exercises within your week, that can often cause two uh, joint sensitivities. And uh, therefore, you know, uh, this is a split that I like to use to make sure that that doesn't happen. In summary, besides keeping your joints healthy, this routine won't take more than 30 to 35 uh, minutes of your time per workout. The way we structure it is by dividing it into two workouts, workout A and workout B, and repeating these twice a week. I usually recommend two versions of this plan, one that mixes calisthenics with sprints, and one that sticks to more traditional on-location uh, calisthenic exercises. So if you choose the sprint version of this split, you can do these outdoors, ideally up a hill. You know, I'm a big fan of hill sprints. Or if you do them at home, you can do them on a static bike or on a rower. This is usually how most of my trainees uh, do these, especially in the winter when you can't go outdoors. You know, doing your sprints on a static bike is also a great option. So the way that I would structure the sprint version of this program would be the following. Let's say you start on Monday, begin with workout A, where your first exercise is a vertical pull. Your next exercise is a lower body hip dominant exercise. Next, you move on to a vertical push. After that, a core exercise that is some kind of challenging uh, variation of a plank. And workout B starts with our sprints. It moves on to a horizontal push. After that, a horizontal pull and a core exercise that focuses more on the deep layer, again, recommended exercise here uh, would be hollow body holds. Assuming that your workout week starts on a Monday, these are some examples of how this program could look. Again, the way that you structure these is as stretched out circuits with 20 to 30 seconds of rest between uh, strength oriented exercises, uh, 30 to 60 seconds of rest between more dynamic stuff. You know, let's say for example, you just finished uh, some burpees or vertical jumps. You'll need some more time to recover before you can uh, you know, perform well with your next strength-oriented exercise. Between rounds, I recommend four to five minutes of active rest, you know, walking around, or again, if you want to turn this into a more cardiosthenics workout, which is, uh, again, uh, a mix of calisthenics and uh, cardio, you can also do five to seven minutes of um, jogging if you're outdoors or, you know, again, pick a cardio machine if you have one at home and uh, do that there. Volume wise, I recommend starting with two rounds if you're a beginner and gradually progress to three or even four rounds if you want to step it up a notch later on. Next, our five workout per week plan doesn't differ that much from our four workout per week routine with the only addition of a resistance band uh, workout once a week. The reason we incorporate this one is because it focuses on joint integrity by covering movement patterns and angles that calisthenic routines uh, tend to neglect in order to help you improve joint health and avoid imbalances that can lead to overuse injuries. Placing this routine in the middle of the week will give you and your joints a nice break from your typical calisthenics workouts by loading your connective tissues in a gentler way that still generates a nice muscle pump, helping you build some extra muscle in areas of the body that are typically neglected from a strict body weight approach to training. To better understand the importance of incorporating a resistance band workout once a week and uh, how that can complement your calisthenics approach to fitness, make sure that you watch my detailed uh, guide on this topic, I'll include again a link. You'll find it in the top pinned comment below.
The workout routine that I recommend is the following. Again, I also have a detailed video tutorial on this workout. You can uh, check it out. You know, it goes through each exercise, uh, explaining all the details you need to know about it. Finally, for our six workout per week plan, we follow the same format that we had with our five workout per week plan with the addition of what I like to call a leftover workout. The leftover workout is last in line and that is not by coincidence, that is by design since what you'll be doing during this day will depend on how the rest of your week was. For example, if you had a great week uh, in terms of managing stress, in terms of quality sleep, uh, and you know everything else that affects your performance, if you're feeling fresh during this day, you can add some supplementary uh, strength work here you know you can add things that you feel that you maybe neglected during the rest of the week uh, you know typically i will add some extra lower body and core work during this one or if you had a very stressful week if you didn't sleep well if your kids kept you up or you had an annoying neighbor that uh, you know kept having parties above or whatever the case you know if you're uh, approaching the end of the week and you're feeling tired, you're feeling drained, you don't really feel you have the edge for a dynamic workout, what I recommend uh, on this day is that you add some zone one work, meaning some low intensity steady state movement, you know, either that's walking, either that's, you know, very, very light uh, swimming or cycling, you know, uh, anything that won't get your heart rate that much up, uh, but will keep you moving in a steady state in order to actively recover, uh, to decompress, you know, stress-wise, uh, and to slowly, uh, you know, get in a state where you can uh, sleep better during the rest of the weekend and you can recover better so you can be fully recuperated for next week. All right, so before I end today's video, some final pieces of advice. Uh, if you're the type of person who struggles with training consistently, I would recommend a high frequency, uh, anything between five or six workouts, maybe even four can work, but ideally I would stick to either five or six. Uh, the reason these work better is because they are shorter. They leave you feeling fresh and rejuvenated instead of you know, leaving you feeling uh, depleted like a, a three workout per week uh, plan. And this helps you stay more consistent, more focused and maintain momentum to train. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is that, you know, it is a cliche quote saying uh, that you don't find time to work out, but you make the time to work out, which is absolutely true. You know, if you're waiting for the perfect time of the week to work out, you'll never build consistency this way, you know, it's never the case for anyone. It's not even the case for me. And this is what I do for a living. So keep all that in mind. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them below. Make sure you join our free over 30 calisthenics community. You can find everything I talked about today in the top pinned comment below. And until next time, keep on training.